I turn, if I may, to building safety. There was a major fire at the end of last week. Three stories caught fire. The builders, who two years ago should have taken the dangerous cladding off the building, the Grenfell-style cladding, who actually started work two weeks ago, said that the affected cladding didn't catch fire. I think that was chance. It wasn't design. The only people who I think have got no absolute right to sue the builders, the regulators, the component suppliers, are the residential leaseholders themselves. The only people who are being asked to pay the extra £10 billion on top of the £5 billion which the government have rightly started as their contribution towards the costs are the leaseholders. So they're left carrying £10 billion with no right to sue those who are responsible. I asked the Prime Minister if you'd kindly have a summit on fire safety with the affected groups, the cladding groups, the National Leasehold Campaign, the Leasehold Knowledge Partnership and the officers of the all-party group on leasehold and commonhold reform, and then put to the Secretary of State for Housing, together with the Chancellor, this simple point. Provide all the money that's needed, whether it's above or below 18 metres, and then find out who can sue those who are actually responsible. What the government's doing with levy and taxes is one thing, but that £10 billion outstanding makes people's lives impossible. They have homes which aren't safe, they have homes which aren't saleable, ones that can't be funded, and they can't afford. And if you want to know the effectiveness of the, of the waking watch for that fire in daylight, it wasn't effective. So government has to step in, not necessarily say the taxpayer will pay the money in the end, because it can come from those who were responsible, part of which is a public responsibility on regulation, but most of it are those who designed and built and went on selling components which were known to be safe or not known to be safe. I would also say, if I may, to our media people, do appoint a housing editor. Because when these housing stories come up, it's too bad when each individual producer or reporter has to learn from scratch what's happening. This is as important as health. We need an approach which is consistent and effective and fast and that works.